Hey, what's up? I know that you're interested in the new Infinix smartphones, because the videos about Infinix Hot 11 Play and Hot 11S were very popular on our channel, Tech Brothers. Recently, the new series of Infinix smartphones was launched, which includes Infinix Note 12, Note 12 Turbo, Note 12i and Note 12 VIP. I would like to test all these smartphones, but I am in Ukraine now, and because of the war, there is no shipping from China and other countries. Anyway, I want to compare the specifications and features of the new Infinix smartphones. If you are choosing a new mobile device, this video will be useful for you. By the way, you can hit the bell icon to receive notifications about new videos on our channel Tech Brothers. So the new smartphone series from Infinix is called Note 12. There are already four devices in the new series, such as Infinix Note 12i, Infinix Note 12, Infinix Note 12 Turbo, and Infinix Note 12 VIP. By the way, the smartphone Infinix Note 12 Turbo is called Infinix Note 12 G96 on official website. I will call this model Turbo, so you don't confuse it with the basic version. So let's talk about the prices of the new phones. The cheapest model in the new series is Infinix Note 12i. The price varies from market to market, and it is around $150. The next smartphone is Infinix Note 12, and you can buy it in India for only 12,000 rupees. This is about $155. Turbo version will cost you 15,000 rupees in India, or $195. Finally, the most powerful model in the new series is Infinix Note 12 VIP. The price is about 23,600 rupees or $305. You know, I tell you the prices in rupees because the smartphones are released in India and some other countries, but they are not available in the global market yet. When they are, I will add links with the current prices in description under the video. On official website, we can look closer at the design of each smartphone. As you can see, Infinix Note 12i is available in the black and white colors, but uh, there is a nice pattern on the rear panel, so the smartphone looks very beautiful. There is also a triple camera on the back. You know, all the phones in the new series, except Infinix Note 12 VIP, have a 50 megapixels triple camera. Infinix Note 12i and Infinix Note 12 Turbo have the same design of the main camera. Well, Infinix Note 12 has a big sensor at the top and two smaller sensors at the bottom. In addition, the flashlight is below the camera sensors. Talking about Infinix Note 12 VIP, this is a flagship model in the series, so it has a completely different design of the main camera. Actually, it looks very similar to Poco X4 Pro and some other Poco phones. Do you agree? On the front panel, all the smartphones have a screen diagonal of 6.7 inches. However, Infinix 12i has HD Plus resolution, while the other phone come with Full HD Plus displays. There are also many differences in specifications of the screens. Infinix Note 12i has a 6.82 inch TFT LCD display with a 90 Gz refresh rate. Infinix Note 12 and the Note 12 Turbo come with 6.7-inch True Color AMOLED display with 1000 nits peak brightness. However, there is no information about refresh rate. The flagship model Infinix Note 12 VIP has 6.7-inch Super Light AMOLED display with 120 Gz refresh rate. By the way, Infinix Note 12i, 12, 12 and 12 Turbo have a water drop notch above the display, while Infinix Note 12 VIP comes with the hole punch screen. I am also glad that the other phones in the new series have dual speakers with DTS. They also have USB Type-C charging port, 3.5mm audio jack, and fingerprint reader on the side face. Now let's talk about performance of the new smartphones. The cheapest model in the series, Infinix Note 12i, is equipped with the Helio G95 chipset, 4GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. Infinix Note 12 has Helio G88 processor. It is available in the version with 4 or 6 gigs of RAM and 64 or 128 gigs of storage. Talking about Infinix Note 12 Turbo and Infinix Note 12 VIP, they have the same Helio G96 chipset, 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of internal memory. So the performance of these phones should be similar. All the mobile devices support external memory cards up to 2 terabytes. Another feature of the new Infinix phones is Monster Game Kit. This kit includes XR Darklin 2.0 to optimize battery, temperature, and memory, dual speaker, and six layer graphene colon system. Infinix Note 12 Turbo also has a liner motor to receive a feedback while playing games. 
the flagship model in Phoenix Note 12 VIP, is equipped with dual X-axis linear motor, thick tail system, and a 9 layers graphene coolant system, so it is not surprising that the most expensive smartphone in the series has better performance and other useful technologies. Talking about cameras of the new phones, as already said, Infinix Note 12i, 12 and 12 Turbo has 50 megapixels triple camera, while Infinix Note 12 VIP comes with 108 megapixels triple camera. You know, there is a very little information about the second and third sensors of Infinix Note 12i, 12 and 12 Turbo, so I cannot tell you if they are wide-angle camera or not. However, we know that Infinix Note 12 VIP has a depth and wide-angle camera on the rear panel. On the front panel, Infinix Note 12i has 8 megapixels selfie camera, while the other three phones come with a 16 megapixels camera. Finally, let's talk about battery. Infinix Note 12i, 12, 12 and 12 Turbo are equipped with 5000 mAh battery, but the cheapest model has only 18 w fast charging, while the other two phones support 33 w fast charging. The flagship model Infinix Note 12 VIP has a little smaller battery with a capacity of 4500 mAh, but this phone supports 120 w fast charging. The full battery charge takes only 17 minutes. You know, I like all the smartphones in the new series. Even the most budget Infinix Note 12i has many features, such as 50 megapixels triple camera, 90 gears display, dual speaker, 5000 mAh battery. Of course, the flagship model Infinix Note 12 VIP looks the best because it has 108 megapixels camera, 130 gears of Full HD Plus display, Helio G96 chipset, and 120 watt fast charging support. But it is also the most expensive smartphone. However, for the price of $305, it is a very good deal. Are you planning to buy a smartphone from the new Infinix series? Which one? Write in the comments below. Thank you for watching. See you soon.